Gates, and it's a very good afternoon. Thank you, and good afternoon too. Ambassador, all fingers are being pointed at your government for the murder of uh, Colonel uh, Patrick uh, Karagea. And your government, uh, it, has, it uh, certainly uh, had every reason to want either to eliminate or to silence him. Uh, thank you very much. We want to say that uh, it is true he has declared himself a safe enemy. He has been involved with his group into grenade attacks and uh, terror activities. He has officially stated uh, that he will remove the president and his government, but Rwanda has never planned to kill him. Rwanda continued to negotiate with the government of South Africa for his extradition so that he could face justice. And within our laws, uh, no matter what is the crime, there is no death penalty. So there was no plan or no way of uh, killing him or asking him to face death. Hmm. Uh, if he died in South Africa, he could die of so many things. He has been here for six years. He is involved in so many shoddy deals, in uh, some political competitions, even within their own movement, anything can happen. But we, as government, we don't want to speculate like his group did and uh, tried to hijack the media. We trust and have faith in the process that the government of South Africa is conducting to find out the truth and evidence. Mm -hmm. But we Ambassador, if I could just uh, stop yeah. you there, but how do you explain this? Uh, we heard uh, the recent comments uh, by President Paul Kagame who was actually uh, quoted um, saying that uh, treason brings consequences and uh, that those who have offended the state before will be dealt with wherever they are. Now, this uh, seems like a clear confirmation that uh, your government was involved. Uh, that was uh, to say we don't regret uh, his death. We don't have sympathy. Rwanda do not miss him for the bad plans, for the bad action that uh, he has been doing. But that does not say we have killed him. It was also a say that uh, was uh, made in the breakfast prayer. So it's not in a prayer uh, atmosphere uh, where you say, uh, I have or we have killed. It was uh, like saying people who do wrong, to people who betray their nations, always get cursed, which is uh, quite relevant in the prayer context, but not a declaration of uh, we did it. Uh, but then what uh, do you know about uh, the four uh, Rwandans that have been reported arrested uh, by the police in Mozambique? And that includes a senior military official, that's Ken Colonel Francis uh, Gakwerere. Total wrong. Francis Gakwerere is in Rwanda now, free. Uh, there have been some uh, Rwandans arrested in Mozambique in a total different context than uh, the murder in South Africa. Those are people living in Mozambique, having petty trades, and uh, had some b disputes among themselves, and they had to face uh, police uh, arrest at uh, the very low level. The government of Mozambique has uh, never confirmed that uh, it is involved in the investigation or it has arrested people. We have formally requested the government of Mozambique to tell us the issues at stake and all these uh, media around Rwandans being arrested in Mozambique. They are also surprised as they are getting the same questions from media. But uh, uh, we continue to, to, to track and monitor uh, even for those Rwandans, not related, but uh, uh, arrested in Mozambique. Mm -hmm. And let's go back to a point you raised uh, just a short while ago. Uh, we know that uh, President Kagame and your defense minister both have been alleging that uh, Karegea and his allies have been behind a series of uh, grenade attacks in Rwanda that have been happening over the past uh, several years. But the question is then, do you have any evidence uh, to support that claim? 
we have a lot of evidence and evidence is coming and uh, that was very easier because uh, Karegea and his group were proud of what was happening. Whenever it happened, they were the first to say on their blogs that uh, there is insecurity in Rwanda and uh, reports, including some UN reports, show that they had linkages with the FDLR and all the people arrested in grenade involvement in their testimonies, in their confessions, they show clear links with uh, FDLR, clear links with uh, the Karigea, and more people have been recently arrested in Uganda and in uh, neighboring countries uh, who really were in the, the go-between into these uh, types of uh, campaign and terror to destabilize Rwanda and uh, to discredit the uh, government. And uh, finally, Ambassador, um, uh, Colonel Karagea has now been buried here in South Africa. Now, will your government ever allow his uh, reburial in Rwanda? And, is, uh, uh, and will your government ever allow his family to return to the country? Uh, Rwanda has allowed people who committed genocide to return home. Rwanda can allow them on uh, uh, terms and conditions. Uh, and Rwanda is a country with uh, open hands for the children of Rwanda as long as they abide by the law, as long as they repent for uh, the wrongdoing. All right, we have to end it there. Thank you so much uh, for your time. That was uh, Rwanda's ambassador to South Africa, Vincent Karega. Well. We